guys, welcome to this video. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Esther and I'm going to be unboxing a new ring light that I purchased off Amazon. <laughs> If you are new to my channel, I'll kindly ask that you subscribe below. So I have been asked in the past about my lighting equipment and my filming equipment. So I'm going to share with you guys this particular new set of lighting equipment that I've purchased. I'm going to go into further details about my filming and my setup and stuff like that in another video. I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible and hopefully show you once it's all set up. This is the newer ring light, 18 inch outer rim and 14 inch inner rim ring light from newer and I purchased it off Amazon. So you can see there it's written 18 and here it's the UK plug because obviously I live in the UK and it was delivered in a bigger box in that bigger box was this box which contains the ring light itself I bought it off Amazon two days ago it was delivered yesterday I did prime I'm not registered to prime but I was able to trial prime which means you can get stuff delivered to you in 24 hours so I did have this delivered the next day because I wanted it as soon as possible you like my baby. And everywhere I turn. Inside the box is this bad boy. It's not as big as you would think. It's actually quite a good size. It's a carry case for the ring light, which is very, very handy, of course, if you wish to take it traveling with you. I already have two soft boxes that I use for every single one of my videos. I was thinking of getting a third soft box, but then I decided to get this instead because it's more handy for beauty videos, stuff that you might be shooting up close, especially makeup and videos of that sort. So this is great to take away with you. Soft boxes, they do get quite tricky when I'm trying to take them out for shoots. This bag is going to come very, very handy. Don't play no games with me. Inside the bag is the ring light and this is actually very big. There isn't really anything that's protecting the light bulb itself. I guess that's why they offer you a bag. There isn't any like bubble wrap or anything in there. So it's literally just the light bulb and the plastic casing on the back here. I'm gonna take all of this off and I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna see how effective it is. That's it on and I'm just holding it towards me. I also went ahead and purchased a stand. This is just your standard, I think this was like 13 quid, 13 pounds. It stands quite high. The legs are adjustable, so is the top up here. You unscrew it so you can get it to the height that you want. That's also very, very handy for if you wanna do stuff standing up or sitting down. You open it up as much as you want and you fix your ring light onto it. Have this part here at the bottom, you can see that right here. That's where the stand is going to go into and I'm going to secure it with this screw. Don't play no games with me. Don't play no games with me. And to stop the ring light from moving back and forth, I'm also going to screw this part so that it's pretty tight and secure. So the bulb is actually a 75 watt bulb. So looking at it, it's not as bright as one of my softbox bulbs because I can obviously see the difference, but it's very powerful in what it does. If you can see, the side of this casing here is reflected. So that allows the light bulb in itself to almost be two times as powerful as what the bulb itself is. So the light bounces off the silver casing on the inside, which obviously then projects the light outwards towards you. I'm gonna place the ring light in front of my camera and I'm gonna use it for the rest of this video and just explain why I decided to buy it and how I feel about it so far. Okay, so all the lights are on, that's why you probably can't see. I'm usually sat obviously in the front here where I'm holding the camera. Camera would be sat here facing me and I'm sat facing these three lights. That's what I see when I film and then the camera of course. Now switched on the ring light and I've placed it in front of my camera. I'm going to switch it off to show you guys a little before and after. You guys can see a difference. You can let me know in the comment section below. You can definitely see a difference just looking at my viewfinder of my camera. So this is my normal lighting setup. This is what I usually have for my videos. I mean it works perfectly fine. People could be satisfied with this. You could just use the two soft boxes. You can quit the soft boxes and you can decide to use the ring light or you can use all three like I'm doing right now. If you are a YouTuber or you are a photographer and you like to shoot portraits or you like to do makeup videos, a ring light will be something that will probably be best 
for you. What a ring light essentially does is that it lights up your entire face, your shoulders and stuff like that. But as for soft boxes, what I find is that it kind of lights, it lights me up, but then it lights up kind of where it is. So it doesn't go above my head. It's just kind of directly onto my face. So then sometimes I get shadows here. I get shadows behind me. The effectiveness of it being as a ring is like it's evenly lit. Some people will be satisfied with having just one soft box, two soft boxes, a smaller ring light. That's completely up to you. I think it's important to understand your content, what you want to present in your content and the quality of it. You really don't have to go overboard and buy a million ring lights or a million soft boxes. It's completely up to you how you want to present your content once again. I was able to buy these two soft boxes at the beginning of last year and I bought them for about £43 for the set of two. That comes with the stand, the soft box itself, the two light bulbs and then I bought myself like a spare light bulb but you never know what could happen. At times I do take it out of my house to film things in other studios and stuff. You don't wish for it to break but anything can happen. Can't give you the link for the soft boxes because like I said I bought it about two years ago now. The seller may have taken it off their store. I will share the link for the ring light that will be in the description box as well. New I do a lot of filming equipment, photography equipment, lighting solutions and stuff like that. If it's something that you feel like it's too expensive there are other solutions to lighting. I don't like to depend on natural light because natural light sometimes it fades, it comes in and out. Especially when the sun is up, the sun can get hidden behind clouds which then can cast shadows on your face and in your atmosphere and you don't really want that. You like a nice consistent lighting for your video especially if you're doing a makeup video. Because it's white light it casts a natural light which then is supposed to bring out the natural colour of items and makeup other things of that sort that you're sharing in your videos and that is all that I have today I hope you guys have enjoyed it if you guys have any questions please leave them I'm no tech so if I'm not able to answer some of your questions just please go on the newer website and look on the FAQ or go on Amazon and read the descriptions of this product in particular that I purchased I hope I've been of some help if you've been looking for lighting solutions for your video or your photography I do hope to see you guys on my channel again please don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and I will chat to you guys real soon Bye. <laughs>